Hey, it's your boy Ricky here, and I'm here with a top 10 Power Rangers. Who is the strongest Power Rangers out there? Now, you don't need another list. Forget all the other lists, forget all the other videos. This is the only one you need to pay attention to. So, without further ado, my Rangeritos, let's jump in and let's make some magic. Number 10 is Justin, the Blue Turbo Ranger. Now, you might be thinking, why is he the strongest? Well, the original Red Ranger gave him his powers. When Jason was training for the Pan Global Games, his coach, Miss Appleby, wanted him to go further. Jason couldn't take on the responsibilities of being a Power Ranger and competing for an Olympic championship. So he passed on his powers to Justin, who at the end of the day, we all wanted to be Justin, a kid being a Power Ranger. So that's when Jason gave up his powers of the blue turbo and gave them straight to Justin. Number nine, James Navarro, the Cyan Dino Charge Ranger. Now, you might be wondering, hang on a minute, he wasn't around much. Well, he's been training for 20 years as a Power Ranger. He got his, his Cyan Energem, he transformed, and he was able to defeat all the evil monsters and was training. Come on guys, seriously, if you've been a Power Ranger and you've been training for 20 years, bam, you're gonna be one super ripped Power Ranger. He was also a ninja. He was able to kind of get around people. He was able to dodge all the bad guys. This has got to be one of the strongest Rangers. And oh my God, I'm so glad that he's in my list. Number eight is the Gold Zero Ranger. Ha! Oh. Gold Zero Ranger, he was one of my favorites as a kid. I remember watching him in his 13th season. The Gold Zero Ranger, he just bust in and he was amazing and he took down all those evil bad guys. Oh, it was a t what a time to be alive for being a kid. You know, some people think, well, you know, taking down those x Xbox were really, really easy. But you know, he was able to use his Gold Rush, his Gold Tap powers. Oh, he would have been higher, but unfortunately, for my number eight, You've got to be the Gold Zero Ranger. Number seven, Tommy Oliver. No, 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 fam. Wait, he came in in 2001. He was the first Green Ranger. Oh, you know, no, no, no. Before I get the hate from you guys, before you type in those comments that I'm wrong, that he should be further, he should be number one, just hear me out. Just hear your boy out and we'll be able to get back on track. He debuted in the first series in 1998. He was the Green Samurai Ranger. Oh my god, did you not see him in the legendary battle? In fact, here's a small clip. He was able to beat all. He was able to defeat everybody really quickly. And I can't believe that he was on a Ninja Storm thing. Oh, he was in it completely. So, with all that, he was able to transform into the greatest, one of the best Green Rangers of all time. But, you know, he's in my number seven. Number six, oh my God. Number six, I did not see this one coming. And we've got Orion, the Silver Ranger. Whoa, you know, he was, a, he was a cool character. He had all the powers of the other Rangers, all the six Rangers. He was able to be a fanboy. He loved all the other Power Rangers. And as soon as he met them, Boom, he went there. He went all the way there to make sure that he was the best. You know, he had this whole like cool Dragon Ranger shield. You know, he had everything. You know, he had the power to get it. But I love this story. Do you know what his story was if you haven't seen it? So he's walking down the street. He sees a little girl in the middle of the road and he jumps and pushes her out of the way. He gets knocked down by a car or a van or a truck, whatever it is, but he did it. He became a Power Ranger because the other Rangers saw him. The Spirit Rangers. You know, the Spirit Rangers, we've seen them before in Jungle Fury. They came along and they gave him the powers so he could become Orion, the Silver Mega Force Ranger. Ooh, if that isn't being a hero, I don't know what is. Number five, Lauren, the Red SPD Ranger. Now, before I continue, you might be going like, Ricky, my boy, my fam, what are you doing with this lit list? Why is this character doing it? Why wasn't she a male character? Well fam, I'm gonna drop a little uh, knowledge bomb on you now. She was one of the best rangers. They chose her because of her leadership skills. She was great. She was able to lead the team into what she wanted. I couldn't have picked a better ranger to lead the SPD rangers. Now you might be wondering, hang on a minute, SPD rangers? What season's all that about? 
Well, I'm going to tell you. What happened is that, you know, they're martial law rangers. They don't take any crap from anybody, fam. You know, if you saw these rangers, whoa, I'd be running away as well. She was able to defeat the putties. Oh, who would have thought a name called Putty? I've never seen her. But she was chosen by a big kitty cat. Oh, that big kitty cat was amazing. So at the end of the day, she became the leader. She became one of the strongest SPD rangers. And, you know, fam possibly one of the best rangers that I've ever seen. Number four, Ziggy the Green RPM Ranger. My boy, my fam, oh, he was in this. His ranger was one of the best green rangers you've ever seen. You know, he had his normal suit, but he had a battle suit. You know, he wanted to fight evil <laughs> in his boxers, come on. Who would not want to literally fight the forces of evil in your boxes? It's breezy, it's more convenient, and you just basically put that helmet on and go back to action, activate, and you put that helmet on, bam, you could easily, you may take a little bit more damage, but your power increases because you've not got the weight of spandex, belts, or weapons. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. You might be thinking, whoa, 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 Ricky, what are you doing with this one? Well, I've got to admit, you know, he was good. He, he, he did great. He was the leader. You know, who would have thought a green ranger being the leader of an alternative dimension? Wow, can you imagine that? Man, the times in the Paramount era were woo. I would never have seen that coming and I'm so glad that Paramount Studios were able to choose this. Number three, Wesley Colley, the Red Time Force Ranger. Now, I was kind of confused when I started watching this that they would tell him to shut up all the time. It's a quote. It says, shut up, Wes. Shut up, Wesley. Oh, I didn't know why they didn't give him respect. Now, he was able to take down the Dinobots all the time. You know, as soon as the Force of Evil would release those Dinobots, boom, Wesley would be there. Now, he got his powers from Alex. You know, he was meant to be a Power Ranger, but what happened? No, he passed it down. Wes was able to become a Time Force Ranger and able to do so much stuff. In fact, he did it so well, he went back in time with the Yellow Lightspeed Ranger and punched the T-Rex in the face. Cool, can you imagine you're being a Power Ranger, you morph, you turn around and you see a T-Rex, you go, oh, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Time travel elements? Woo, I would like that. And also, he met Keeper. Keeper, you say? Well, you know, he was there. Keeper was like, I'm going to give you the Lena gems. He's like, no, 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 fam. Don't worry, I've got my own morpher. I'm able to transform. And what's that? He did. He transformed, punched the T-Rex in the face, and went straight back to his present time with the Yellow Light Speed Ranger. Number two is Dex, the green mighty morphing masked rider. Oh. He was perfect, you know? So how did he become the leader of one of the most iconic teams in history? Well, fam, I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you. I'm gonna sit, you know, sit down right there, chill, listen to what I have to say, because when I finish, I am going to blow your mind. And if your Ranger socks haven't been blown off, I don't know what will. So our main man, Alpha, yeah, hit our main man, Alpha, was a sage, a magical sage, and he sent the Wild West Rangers all the way to Eater Pie. Why is it called Eater Pie? That's a really weird name. I really don't know why they called that. You know, if it was me, I'd be really confused as a kid, be like, why is it called Eater Pie? I don't know. Well, fam, whew. At this point, they've taken the candle from Divatox, who, by the way, was a major hottie. So they took the green candle, they went to eat a pie, they gave it, they gave it to a guy called Dax who became a Power Ranger, a masked Power Ranger. Oh, when I was a kid, this was like the shiz. I could not handle it. Boy, this is good. So Drax was against Lord Draken, an evil villain. He was the most evilest of evil villains. And what happened? The Wild Rest Rangers, as well as Dax, defeated him and were able to save the planet. Whoa, can you imagine that, being a kid and being teleported? I wouldn't know what to do. So anyway, he became the leader of the Power Rangers and I was very surprised, you know. But then, when Dax went to Earth, 
They weren't about. I'd be like, look fam, you need to be in this. You need to come and help me. Dax, when he arrives on Earth, he gets a lightsaber. Whoa there, don't tell Disney or George Lucas. You don't want to get sued. Also gets a bike and he also gets a red car. Whoa there, you know, how can you get that on finance, young man? Whoa. And then he is able to carry on beating Lord Draken and actually wins in the end. Whoa there, Nelly. I didn't realize that happened. And this is the reason why. Dax is number two. So we're number one. And you're like, Ricky, I don't know. That list is off the chain, off the hook. Take me back to the 90s because I want to watch all of this again. But who is number one? Well, it is Nick from Mystic Force, the Mystic Red Ranger. Now you might be thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa there. Ricky, you're my boy. You're my boy. But what makes this Ranger stand out more than other? Well, third knowledge bomb. Don't know. I'm all out after this one. I'm all out. So, we have this. You know, he has the ability of magic. He can control nature. He has speed. You know, if anyone came along, bam, create a magic spell. Now, the Xenotome does have the limited power to give them certain spells all the way through the series, but he could use the magic on anything. Control nature, control the elements. Nick could actually do. He needed fire. He could create fire. If he decided to use Xander's spell to actually use against vines, against bad guys, you could do this. Whoa, fam, I'm getting, I'm getting tired now. I'm dropping all this knowledge. What am I going to do? Because of the ability of magic, Nick can create anything that his imagination can. He can create spells. If he knows who he's against, he could create a certain spell to actually defeat them, as well as use Dragonheart to actually combine into a more powerful version of himself, who has enhanced speed, who can fly, who can actually literally use his stick and literally point onto the bad guy and the bad guy would go flying. Nick is possibly one of the strongest Power Rangers out there. So my Rangeritos, what do you think of my list? Do you think I'm accurate? Do you think it is 100% correct? Let me know down below in the comments. Smash that comments because do you know what? We're gonna read some in the next video. We're gonna read some in the next one when I come back after I've started visiting Mark a bit more. Boom. Now remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure that you ding-a-ling and ring that bell because you want to be notified for more accurate videos just like this. And of course, my Rangeritos, we'll see you in a bit. Hey you, so this video I wasn't too sure if I was going to put in because I know exactly what this video is going to get. It's either going to get a ton of you've not done your research, you're not a fan, blah blah. That's the reason why I invented Ricky on this one. Um, the only reason why I shot this is because I've seen so many times articles, videos, um, and this is going to be linked to another video where they get the information so wrong and it really, really infuriates me. Um, a while ago, and this was like years and years ago, um, basically when everything kicked off with the Red Wild Force Ranger and what happened in his uh, circumstance, there was a news article uh, from the Daily Mail, I think, and they literally put the wrong person down. Um, they looked into it and they'd seen that he had been a previous Red Ranger. And then they'd shown Alex Hartman, which I got really annoyed about because it was really sloppy journalism. It, it just it infuriated me. And then when I contacted them and said, look, you've got the wrong person. This can really damage a person's career. They were like, oh yeah, sorry. We, yeah, the editor's not gonna change it or something. And I was like, you've got the facts wrong. You're saying that yes, he was a Red Ranger, but you're using the fact that it's a different person actually go back and change it and I think they got a lot of flack and then they did change it in the end um, but they were quite rude about it. There's also a, a YouTube channel called Top 10 Nerd and a while ago they pretty much posted a video called like Top 10 Alternative um, Power Rangers or, or something like that and it really got to me when watching the video where this guy had not done any work whatsoever he had not researched it but then him saying that he is a fan Oh, this this really got to me because the way that he like went through the entire video saying oh yeah like wild prime is a series you know and then this is a, a series it's just like there was nothing in there whatsoever and it just 
annoyed me to the point where he, they did make another video kind of addressing it saying oops really sorry but I think he also got a little bit wrong in there but I think that at the very end he says like oh if I got anything wrong let me know in the comments it's just like you gotta really do this and then another again another video that they did which was like the top 10 worst suits holy crap it was that that's the other video but what i'm gonna say in this one is like when they brought up they were like oh look at the pirate armada rangers and i'm like there was never a pirate armada rangers it was super mega force oh again i'm gonna save it for that video I kind of really wanted to add this into the end of the video um so again yeah, if you like this video, like, favorite, comment, and consider subscribing. Check out all the other videos on the channel. Uh, if you want to help out the channel on Patreon, link is in the description down below. And as always, Rangers, and your question, let's, let's throw in a question, is what other videos have you seen that have really annoyed you, bar mine, um, like has made you gone, what the hell, that they've not done their research? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit. But when Dax landed on the planet, do you know what he got? He got a lightsaber. Whoa! Someone call Disney and George Lucas and say, don't sue me! This <laughs> is... <laughs>